कैट एग्जाम में कौन पेपर में अच्छा स्कोर करना है तो यू हैव टू डू अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड प्रिपरेशन वर्बल एंड एलआरडी में स्टिल पॉसिबल है कि आप मॉक्स में प्रैक्टिस करके अच्छे मार्क्स ले आओ बट क्वांट में यू हैव टू डिलीजेंटली डू द थ्योरी स्टडी द फॉर्मुला जिसके बिना अच्छे मार्क्स नहीं आ सकते एक्जैक्टली दिस इज गोइंग टू बी कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो एंड वी विल स्टार्ट विद टारगेट स्कोर दट यू शुड हैव इन माइंड एंड फॉर दैट वी विल सी द कैट ट्वेंटी स्कोर वर्सेज परसेंटाइल फॉर नाइनटी फाइव परसेंटाइल इन क्वांट इन कैट ट्वेंटी यू नीडेड अ स्कोर ऑफ अराउंड एटीन मार्क्स फॉर नाइनटी नाइन यू नीडेड अ स्कोर ऑफ अराउंड ट्वेंटी 6 marks for 99.5 you needed around 30 marks and for 99.9 you needed around 35 marks so the target should always be a 99 percentile and remember cat 2023 was a difficult paper so the marks required might be slightly more so you can target around 30 to 33 marks for a 99 percentile 22 questions hote hain 66 marks ka paper hota hai if you score 50 percent 33 marks then 99 percentile is almost guaranteed but still the cat papers are usually difficult these days in terms of So, 30 marks पे आप एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हो आपको 99 परसेंटाइल आ जाएगी सो अकॉर्डिंगली नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद सिलेबस दैट यू नीड टू कवर सो ब्रॉडली फाइव एरियाज होते हैं एरिथमेटिक एल्जेब्रा नंबर सिस्टम जोमेट्री एंड मॉडर्न मैथ्स एंड विद इन ईच ऑफ दीज लेट सी वट्स द सिलेबस लाइक फॉर एरिथमेटिक द चैप्टर्स दैट यू नीड टू कवर इंक्लूड परसेंटेजेस रेशियो एंड प्रपोजन सिंपल इंटरेस्ट एंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट एवरेजेस प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस मिक्सचर्स एंड एलिगेशन टाइम स्पीड एंड डिस्टेंस वर्क एंड टाइम एंड पाइप्स एंड सिस्टम्स यू कैन कंसिडर टूगेदर एंड Escalators and clocks, which are kind of optional. Next, you need to cover number system, which includes base system, divisibility, remainders, factors, LCM and HCF, thirds and indices. factorials and power complex numbers next is algebra again very important that that includes linear equations functions and graphs quadratic equations and polynomial logarithms inequalities modulus maxima and minima and sequences and series which a lot of people cover in modern maths as well but i will cover it in algebra itself next is geometry which includes triangles circles polygons and quadrilaterals trigonometry mensuration and coordinate geometry next is modern maths which includes permutation and combination and probability and sequences and series are already covered in algebra so i'll not cover it under modern maths now let's look at the focus areas where you should stress on and for that we will see the question distribution from different topics across the years in quant and for that we will be using oswald books 25 years solve paper where we have the trend analysis of questions from 2017 onwards for each of the three sections verbal lrdi and quant and we will see the quant section so for quant you can see here 2017 onwards always arithmetic has been dominating and the trend is likely not to change arithmetic will almost cover 40 to 50% of your paper after that comes algebra and arithmetic and algebra together will constitute almost 70% of your paper after that there is geometry after that is number system and after that modern maths but this trend obviously doesn't mean that you will leave out the least important topics you will practice is them as well but yes more focus has to be on arithmetic and some of the topics in algebra and as far as the timetable is concerned i have prepared a detailed timetable for you where you will be able to complete the syllabus by october end or november first week maximum remember this is a very slow plan considering that there will be many working professionals as well who will not be able to devote a lot of time but if you can devote a lot more time then i will say tweak the timetable according to your convenience and you should try to complete the syllabus by september end which will be ideal in this plan you can cover arithmetic in one month algebra in almost one month number system in almost 3 weeks geometry in 2 weeks modern maths in 2 weeks and for this you can also see in the sheet i have also written about mocks and sectionals that is by this particular date you should cover these many mocks and these many sections in total and for each of the topics i have mentioned the end date as well so when whenever you complete a particular topic you can mark that as completed this will help you identify whether you are on track or delayed in your preparation and i have also mentioned the topics in the particular order that you should follow in case your coaching is following a different method it's completely fine if you want to follow a different method it's completely fine but if you are completely doing self preparation starting from 15th of july you can follow this pattern as well these sequence as well and for this you can also see across each of the topics i have mentioned the number of questions that you should practice and this is the bare minimum that i have mentioned which
which means if you say pick up a particular topic percentages you study the theory and then solve at least 20 questions on that topic which means after that only you can mark that topic as completed obviously you can practice a lot more questions but this is the bare minimum that you need to get comfortable with that topic and for practicing these questions you can start referring to the previous year cat questions at this point of time which will be the best practice for you and for that let me tell you about oswald books 25 years solved paper which i will be referring to in this video in this book you will find three fully solved papers cat 23 cat 22 21 across different slots fully solved papers but the best thing is that you can find topic wise questions as well across the years so suppose i am practicing percentages and i want to concentrate on that particular topic i can go to percentages practice the previous year questions asked on that particular topic so that segregation is done here which will help me in my preparation as well and in case you are doing self preparation in this particular book only you will find topic wise conceptual notes revision notes mind maps smart shortcuts that you can use to study your theory as well and for quick revision as well so you can use this one single book for problem solving as well as studying your theory in case you are doing self preparation i will put the link to buy this book in the description as well as in the pinned comment if you are interested you can check it out from there now let me tell you about some of the tips and tricks that you can follow during your preparation and as someone who has gone through the process i believe this is the most important message that i can give you so the first important thing that you should do during practicing of your questions is do not solve one by one and do not break the flow by solving one one question rather make a set of 20 questions that you need to solve these 20 questions from this particular topic solve all the 20 questions see the solution see how many you could solve and then come back to the questions that you could not solve in the first attempt using this method you will be able to solve a lot more questions in the same time compared to if you are solving one question then checking the answer then checking the solution to check if it's right or not and you will be wasting a lot of time and also get bored using this method compared to if you are practicing questions in a set of 10 to 20 questions at a time and if you are preparing this way it will also help you prepare for the next tip that i'm going to mention that is you have to avoid ego in your quant paper remember you do not have to solve the entire paper all the questions you need not solve you only have to solve the easiest 50 60 percent of the paper that's why it's very important you understand which are the questions you need to solve a lot of time what happens is you find a comfortable topic and you think you will be able to solve that question but you waste a lot of time maybe it's a difficult question and then you're not able to solve the easy questions in the paper as well maybe from not so comfortable topics so you need to solve the quant paper in three rounds always the first round will be for the easiest questions no matter from which topic it comes the easiest questions which you know you will be able to solve in 90 to 120 seconds and the next set will be from questions from topics which you're not very comfortable with or questions that you're not familiar with and round three will be only for those questions which you are not able to solve in round one and two and still you have time left and that's why if you're practicing questions in a set of 10 20 questions in your practice stage itself it will help you prepare for these kind of attempt round one round two round three you will be practicing this in your practice stage itself this will make attempting mocks very easy next tip that i can give you is follow traditional approach during your practice while solving problems during your practice phase but during the sectionals and mocks you need not follow the traditional approach you have to follow the fastest way out and that can be anything for example in algebra a lot of problems can be solved using substitution which means you substitute the options in the equation check which one is the correct option and obviously this one will be easier than the traditional approach in some of the cases in case there are four or five equations that you need to follow maybe substitution will become an easier method then there is i estimation that we use in geometry maybe i'm not able to solve the exact i'm not able to find the exact side of a triangle but i estimation will give me an approximation and if the options are not very close definitely i can mark that particular option then there is another one which is uh, approximation where i will not be able to find the exact answer but i know a typical range that it cannot be more than this particular value it cannot be less than this particular value and again if the options are not very close i will not go and solve the entire problem i will use approximation and mark the right range next important tip that i can give you is a lot of early aspirants what they do when they attempt the mocks they are not able to solve a particular problem and then they think that they have forgotten the entire topic they come back to the entire topic study everything again but this is not the right approach it's not that you have forgotten the theory it's just that you have lack of problem solving or lack of problem solving in the stipulated time and that's what you need to do you just revise that particular problem just use the concept or the formula that is required for that particular 
technological problem just see that write it down in a copy that this was a concept used and move on from there do not come back to study the entire theory again for revision there has to be a specific time slot that needs to be allocated maximum 30 45 minutes that needs to be allocated to revise one particular topic nothing more than that do not keep coming back to the theory it will waste a lot of time next important tip is remember in the timetable i had mentioned the minimum number of questions that you should do from each of the topics but that was questions from different concepts if you keep solving problems about the same concept just the numbers have been changed it is not going to help you if you do 10 15 problems using the same concept just the numbers have been changed it's definitely futile if you find similar kind of problems maximum two three problems in the same concept you can solve after that you can just ignore those topics or ignore those problems which are using the same concept do not need to solve it you have to follow different concepts you need to solve problems that are using different concepts and only then you will become comfortable to solve the quant problems in your sectionals and in your mocks remember most important tip on the focus topics that you should do i'd cover the broad areas which you should focus on but within those as well for example arithmetic you need to do all the topics except escalator and clocks escalator and clocks is something that you can give less stress on usually it is not asked if you want to study clocks i have a dedicated video on that which is usually not covered in coaching and different kind of platforms as well so if you want to do that you can do that but it's not very important honestly after arithmetic what comes is algebra and within algebra you need to be very careful that you need to do linear equations definitely functions and graphs quadratic equation these are certain topics that you need to focus more and more on if you are very good in solving linear equation quadratic equations a lot of algebra problems will be covered there as well rest of the topics you can give a little bit less focus and for geometry as well if you do the triangles and circles you will cover almost 80 percent of geometry questions and obviously menstruation is also important for but for menstruation i think if you study the formula it is kind of more than enough either it will happen that it's a very easy question that you can solve using the formula itself or it will be a very difficult problem that you might not be able to solve or will take a lot of time so in either way you will ignore those problems so just study the formula for menstruation very quick triangles and circles is something that you can focus on in geometry next is number system and in number system factors is something that you need to definitely cover in depth you need to understand all the concepts rest of the topics not very important but obviously you need that to understand the, all the other concepts as well so just study those but factors is very important in number system similarly for modern maths pnc is definitely important a lot of questions do not come from pnc and probability but i would suggest you pnc to definitely kar lena kafi bar ldi mein sets bhi aa jate hain that is definitely going to help you so this was about quant preparation but one more important study tip was around how to make notes in your quant preparation so that it will help you in revision and future preparation as well and for that i did not cover in this video because i have a detailed video on that topic across the three sections itself and if you are interested in that particular video you can see that on the screen and main aapse wahan milta hu